My name's Doug Powell. Originally I was farming in Pemberton. Now in Middlesex I'm farming cattle for beef and avocados. I'm interested in efficient systems and I'm quite interested in biological systems that can replace uh, fossil fuel and braking machinery. What I'm doing to improve the soil for the grazing land is feeding charcoal, a dose of charcoal, a third of a kilo of charcoal per cow per day to my herd of cattle. This passes through the cattle, it falls to the ground. We have a dung beetle over winter called Bubis bison from the Mediterranean in Europe. This is a Mediterranean climate. That dung beetle buries the, the dung and the charcoal up to about 600 millimetres in the ground. I've been doing that for four years. Swick sent me to, or paid for my fare, to go to a conference in Mullumbimby in New South Wales about biochar, where I met the Professor of Engineering from New South Wales, who also gave a paper. And we've developed an, a relationship which has led to an enormous amount of testing being done by uh, the Department of Agriculture in New South Wales and the University of New South Wales on soil samples I've taken from here and biochar samples and cow dung samples and we've had them analysed on labs from all over the world and a paper's been written by all of us and it's just been through peer review and about to be published in the Pedosphere Journal. And we're finding out that far more is happening than we ever thought was possible to happen. It seems to be making available locked up uh, materials, primarily phosphorus, but it is increasing the potassium as well, which is strange because that's soluble. It's increasing the pH, it's increasing the sulphur, it's increasing the calcium, it's increasing everything that seems to matter. The proportion of legumes is increasing over the grasses. Uh, the cattle seem to be able to run at a higher stocking rate. The cattle are very happy and very placid, uh, have a very, very high fertility rate and very good growth rate. I haven't spent any money on fertiliser since 2009. We've got a parallel trial running with uh, a row of avocados that are planted last December and that is actually running on the back of what we've been doing with the cows where we seem to have accidentally re-engineered the soil and are continuing to do so. That's not why we set out to do that. But we are purposely trying to re-engineer the soil under a row of avocados which come from the sides of volcanoes in uh, Central America. That soil is called an andesol. It's a very open, fluffy soil, has a very high air content, very uh, fast water throughput, and physically very different to our soil. So we've actually added charcoal, 5, 10 and 20 percent in three replicates, and each tree has got a control in the normal process growing alongside, nine metres away in another row. And they've only been in the ground seven months. So that's a trial that's going to run for several years till the trees are fruiting. So there's a lot of eyes watching that because it's actually not very expensive to do this process when it's done on a, on a whole road basis where you're using road making equipment. We must have millions of tonnes of timber waste in this part of the world that goes up in smoke every year. There's no reason why it can't partially go up in smoke and the residue become biochar that is put through the 10 million cattle in southern Australia, buried by appropriate beetles into the ground, stay there for tens of thousands of years making the ground more fertile.